Oh hi guys, Guy Christian 9 here with Let's Play Fable Anniversary. In the last episode, we made our way through Great Wood to reach Darkwood, which is where we are now. In this episode, we're just going to get started right away by going through this place. And this is probably going to take up the entire video, so strap in for a very gloomy episode. Which we're getting cut up right here, right uh, now. Help! Something bit me and left me for dead. Please, let me come with you. We can't let him follow. He's infected. He'll be eating our guts before we know it. We have sworn a traitor oath. We have to help him. This isn't a good idea. Not a good idea at all. I can pay well, and there won't be any trouble. Now here's why I like being an evil person in this playthrough. We're going to tell him to piss off. Someone else will help me, or I won't last the day. Now, if you take him... For one, there's gonna be a third traitor you're gonna have to defend for a while. But, um, beyond that, as I go loot this little corner over here, he'll actually turn into a Balverine uh, a little late into the quest. So, pretty much you have to defend yourselves from a Balverine randomly at one point. I always thought that the Balverine spawned at one particular point in, the, uh, in Darkwood, but. The last time I played through, it spawned a lot earlier than it did, meaning that I probably took a little bit too long. So, you you might be on the clock. It really depends, because I, I always thought there was this one spot where it spawned, and that's where it always spawned for me. I was playing the original game. Also, there's a Balverine, in case you were wondering right now. We're going to have to defend these two from this guy, because he's going to pick up on us right away. Watch out! Oh, he's already kind of. Now you'll notice a demon door. This demon door you want to avoid trying to open until after you've done this quest because it involves taking on. Ah, oh, my friend got hurt. Oh, well, luckily we have heal life. The uh, demon door will actually send us a bunch of enemies to um, attack us. So that's not a good idea when you're defending two people. So, we're just going to skip it for now. It's an easy door, though, so just come back later. Especially when you're more powerful, and the, the door will be a cakewalk. Anyways, we have these mushrooms here. You want to go ahead and pop these before you get close to them. As the traders are explaining, because they blow up, and they will hurt your friends. So, it's a good idea to just pick them off from a distance. I probably only have to pick up a few of them, but I might as well get all of them. There we go. They also leave nice little green spores. Well, those don't show up because I was too far away. But that's uh, two areas already done. But Darkwood is a long place, so... Like, it just continues along the whole Great Wood path, so... Like I said, like, distance-wise, this is probably one of the longest quests in the game. The trader camp is through the next gate. All right, now. Oh shoot, they're already ambushing. All right, let's go ahead and take these guys out. Now the theme of this particular map is ambushing. So I'm going to tell these two to wait near the entrance. And I'm going to get these um, enemies to spawn um, by gradually progressing through the area. Doing it this way makes it a lot safer for you. Although they will still bum rush the traders, like they'll pay no attention to you, to be honest. But if you can pick them off from a distance, then it means that you know the traders don't get threatened. Basically, it's a strategy that I've used a lot of times, and it always seems to work. So, where are they? Oh, there they are. Mm -hmm. There we go. This had to get in front of him. Another one spawned. Uh oh, shoot. They didn't kill him. Hey, come back here. Yeah, he got a little bit hurt. There we go. And this is why getting heal life before you start this quest, good or evil, is a really, really good idea. Because anytime they get hurt, you can just pop a heal life and, you know, pretty much nothing is done. Well, damage-wise, I don't know. Alright, there's the next wave. Oh, 
Okay, I got the wrong guy, but alright. And... There we go. Oh, one more. There we go. And that might be it. I... That was pretty far south. Let's go ahead and just mess around and see if I can find any more. Yeah, that looks like it. Alright, there's a silver key chest there. We can't deal with it yet because it's like 15 keys. And there's a sign here. The Dark Web Bordello is closed for renovation until further notice. This is an area that's unique to F Fable the Lost Chapters that we won't be... Ooh, a chest. That we won't be able to access until after we've done the Trader Escort quest, so... Just keep it in the back of your mind, for now. <laughs> what an interesting area it is, too. <laughs> Alright, we're all done with the ambushes, so I can go ahead and get these two guys back. I always hate doing this quest, though. Follow. I don't know if I said it already, but this is my least favorite story Follow. quest. Just, just because you have to defend people. I hate defending people. There are, there are two types of game things that I do not like. One of them is defend missions, and the other is timed missions. I hate timed missions. Just let me do things on my own pace. <laughs> That's all I ask. And I have to do it without... Oh, before you leave, you want to go ahead and pull out your arrows... And shoot, aim for this little hole right in the center of this stone here. There's no indication to do this, but if you do do it, you get a free silver key. I'm sure we'll be there in no time. Probably the most random of the silver keys out there in the entire game, because like I just said, there's no indication for you to do that at all. Also, Darkwood weird. Camp. This is very important, because this is a... Technically a halfway point. And also a very useful spot if you don't have heal life. We made it to the first camp. Excellent. We can stay here until you're ready to move on. Longer we can stay here, the better as far as I'm concerned. Now the reason why it's helpful is that Hello, old friend. You'll notice that they heal themselves once they enter the camp. So if you don't have heal life, and your traders are injured. This is going to be a good day for you. Shall we go? Also, all these guys are booing at me. Yeah, let's go ahead and loot the place, and we can probably get on our way. Another resurrection file. I believe you can only carry nine resurrection files at once. I I think I think that's how it works. Uh, the indicator. Well, no, the indicator's still there. Now. If we go over here, things turn red. Leads to the Chapel of Scorm. We really don't want to go there. There's death and pain that way. I just know there is. So there's another area that you kind of want to bookmark for later. Like going to there with the traders now. If you do what's there, you'll fail the quest. <laughs> but um. Or at least you'll, you know, damage the quest or whatever. Just don't do it. Just wait and wait until you come back to later. If there's no cold escape there, I knew so today was gonna be bad. I just knew it. like there technically is here. I'm gonna tell these guys to wait again, wait. so I can clear out the area. Wait. I'm sure we'll be there in no now I believe around here is where I had the the third trader transform into a Balverine the last time, which is um. Yeah, this slow them down, just in case they try to go past me. Not to mention this will give me some wheel experience. Okay, they seem to be focused on me, so that's good news. Alright, that's one camp cleared out. Let's go ahead and try and pick these guys off from a distance. And got more and more. It makes me nervous to go this far away from the traders, but I don't believe any enemies spawn. So, uh, typically here is where I had the Balverine in my past playthroughs. Um, 
the spawn, like in the Fable the Lost Chapters, not Fable Anniversary. Or, I believe it was here. It's either here or the next area. It was, um... I don't know, I remember a kind of clean area with a bridge. I mean, this area has a bridge, obviously, but, um... Yeah, you know, get that experience and pick up this, uh, meat. And, uh, I'll save that chest for when I come back. Because I feel nervous not having the traders near me. But I don't know. I honestly don't know what determines when the trader turns into a Balfrey. It's either time or it's either just a specific location. Like I said, here is where I have it for Anniversary. The bridge is where I had it for uh, Lost Chapters. So, uh, it may depend upon your um, you. playthrough of the game. Follow. No, don't go outside. Okay, there we go. We're getting close to the end, though, so... Where are we at? Uh, 11 minutes, so... I mean... Yeah, like I said, this this whole video is probably just going to be dark wood. So I hate this place. It's too it's too spooky for me. And they're following. Okay. It seemed a little bit distant from me for some reason. All right, let's pick up this chest before I leave. Let's see, another resurrection file. They really don't think you're gonna survive this place, do they? Alright, we got a fishing spot, so let's go ahead and pick that up. Oh man, this one is tense. Mm. Ah, really troll fish. Alright, let's try that again. Wait. No, don't wait. Wait. No, stop it. I want to fish. Alright, just gonna have to be careful on this one. Because it looks like it's a three tapper. Darn. And see, like, fish get only more more difficult than this. They're actually, like, fish that, like, you just press A twice and then the line snaps. Which is why you want to do a certain open-ended thing that I was trying to get triggered. <sighs> Darn it. That I was trying to get triggered, um, before. Hopefully I can get it done soon. Oh, I'm going to check back once I get out of um, the Trader Escort and do some things over in Oakvale. There we go, we finally got this guy. <laughs> and it's a silver key. How a silver key did that much attention to our line, it's beyond me. Anyways, the Darkwood Weir. Which I believe is the last of the Darkwood locations. Yep, this is the, la this is the last tile. Wait. Alright, so I'm gonna get these sides to wait. Wait. Again. Yeah. Uh, well, first we're gonna go ahead and go down this river. Because there's some stuff down here. And I remember telling the guys to wait doesn't actually matter because they actually, like, warp to you at one point. Oh, look, some tofu. Uh, tofu is, uh, an item that if you eat it, you get good points. So. And here's a golden carrot, which is the opposite of the moonfish. Basically, if you eat this, night turns to day. So, yeah, the golden carrot and the night fit, uh, I mean moonfish. And if you eat one of those, supposedly in Bowerstone, which is why I haven't gotten the achievement beforehand, because I thought you just eat it anywhere. Also, lightning augmentation. Um, you get an achievement. So keep that in, uh, keep that in mind if you're trying to go for all the achievements in the game. Although, you need an Xbox, I mean, you need a Microsoft Smart Glass in order to get all the achievements in the game, which is really annoying. But anyways, here we have a new enemy, the Troll. And this specific one is an Earth Troll. And yeah, the traders warp right next to you. So, the main mode of attack that the Troll has is basically it's going to be hurling these rocks at you. 
The best way to attack him is with your bow, because if you get up close, he'll strike the ground and, um, you know, deflect you. And you basically just want to strafe when he, um, shoots his rocks. And that'll keep you safe. Pretty simple. But you get used to it once you've, you've fought these things over and over again. Like that one, I moved a little bit too early there. You just have to get the timing just right with the moving. Because those rocks will home in on you, so... And one more arrow... And there we go! I'm not good, these guys are following me. The cool thing about trolls is that they always drop a gem. And this one drops a ruby. So, if you're looking for a way to supplement your income, the grinding off of trolls is always a good idea. Because one, they give good experience, and two, like I just said, they always drop gems. And gems always sell for quite a healthy profit. As long as you don't get jets, because the jets are the most worthless of the bunch, and... Yeah. And here we are in Barrow Fields. These guys are just going to go running off on their own. And it'd be wise to follow them. Just so we can finish this quest. Fantastic! We're here! I knew you could do it! Oh, thank you. Ah, there you are. We've been expecting you. Mm -hmm. And quest complete. And we get our boats, too. So we get the Trader Fetter Trophy as an escort, and we got our extra money for making sure both of them survived. So yes, you can Amazing reject that third traitor. Oh. We'll find him in Oakvale Tavern. It seems rather urgent. But um, you can go ahead and reject the third traitor. Also, killing the third traitor as a battle ring doesn't count towards the boast either. So, um, one last thing before we stop the video is this guy. Then you've come to the right place. Pretty popular items, I can tell you. I've only got one left now. I think I'm gonna so get a I bunch of good points for doing this again. I think the evil the way two. to get this mushroom is to just steal it off the table, oh, yes. but you have to have one a guile level of three woman. in order to do that. Plus, you have to avoid the, the cops. So I'm just gonna do this legit way because I don't really so know how to do it the other way. Demand is high, supply is low, so I can't take anything less than fifteen hundred gold. So we're gonna lose quite a bit of the gold that we just got, unfortunately. But yes, we will get our third blue man. mushroom. And with that, I'm going to call it a video, guys. So, this is Garakush9, and this has been Let's Play Fable Anniversary. We've made it to Barrow Fields, and in the next episode, we're going to head off to Oakvale. You'll see you long after it's... Yeah, you'll see. See you then, guys.